The degree to which societies are affected seem to largely depend on the decisions taken by governments and the speed that um, crisis management um, is being put in place, as well as the trust that societies place in these decisions taken, and of course also the healthcare infrastructures. The first two points seem to be making the difference. We have Vietnam, Taiwan, with very low infection rates, low death tolls, and then we have countries such as Brazil or the US. We now need to learn from this and structurally enable transformational processes that allow for the dealing with future crises. We are in the field of building back, back better, not only ecologically better, but also socially better. We had to um, replan the empirical research components that were supposed to take place on the ground, either push them back or change methodology work with partners in ways that would not expose anyone to the threat of the virus. There was a strong focus on short-term coping in the beginning, strengthening healthcare systems and um, local support infrastructures for dealing with the crisis. Now we are moving into a phase where it's about um, laying the structures for longer-term crisis preparation and management. We went digital. That, of course, um, reduces the societal exposure for the students substantially. But it means that we can engage international partners to a higher degree. And, of course, that is also something very valuable.